What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to GMI's World. Right now, what we're going to be taking a look at is Anthony Barr. I've already showed you some gameplay of when we added him. Now we're going to actually go ahead and see what he can do and just look, you know, regular gameplay, see exactly what he's all about. One of the things that I wanted to point out, though, I want to make sure you guys understand, if you are going to utilize Anthony Barr as a pass rusher, he should be a guy that you put abilities on and that is activated. Unfortunately, with his pass rushing chems, he's not suitable enough with those low finesse and low power moves to just go out there and do whatever. And I know a lot of you guys are like, yeah, Jemai, he gets 99 block shed. Doesn't matter, that power move and finesse move is really, really low. So that'll cause a lot of problems for our blitzes that we run. And if he's not able to get those initial moves off, it definitely will show and impact the way that your players play. Because the objective of it is, is to make sure that their moves gets other players involved if they can't get right off and run right in. All right, so I just wanted to point that out because some of you guys were saying, you know, you tried him out, you know, you know, what, what do I think about him? Um, you guys think he's garbage, but it's not that he's trash, it's just that without abilities, he's not gonna be able to do anything. But the other players, like the Brian Burns and these guys, they have suitable pass rushing chems. Okay, 99 finesse move is no, you know, that's, that's really, really good. So you can get away with that when you run blitzes like the way that I do it. When you start sending a ridiculous amount of people, it's always smart to make sure that those guys have the right chems on them. So with Anthony Barr, I would just suggest that you make sure he's a guy that has abilities. I know he only has 96 speed. I'm aware of that. Who did he just throw like that? Is that Night Train? He just punched Night Train right in the face. I didn't even notice that that happened before. All right, so now that that's been said, we're gonna go and just start to see what's going on with this actual gameplay right here and take a look at some of the things that I know you guys are gonna be paying attention to. Now, you can see that Anthony Barr, he's getting blocked. I want you guys to look on the left side. He's on the left side of the screen uh, with the white X on him right now. You'll see that in some cases he will get blocked, but his attention that's drawn causes other people to come in and do whatever. Now, he's just gonna be able to go ahead and grab that and outrun uh, uh, ED right quick. Yeah, go ahead, hop around too, do whatever you want. He, like, it's something about his card, and you guys know, EA Sports likes certain cards, and those cards are gonna play out of their mind no matter what. Anthony Barr is one of those cards. Sean, uh, Sean Taylor is another one. Michael Vick is another one. Um, you know, certain cards that are just like real OP no matter what's going on. The problem is, we OG Madden players, he used to be our user. You remember? It was a gradual thing. We went away from Julius Peppers as our user in the older Maddens, and then we graduated to Anthony Barr because, you know, Julius Peppers got older, and they started to, like, kind of, you know, jip him on his speed, so we just moved him to Barr. Now, with the way that Madden is, and probably the way that it's going to be going in the future, we're going to have to be smarter and go back to, like, what was it, like, Madden 17, Madden 16, where we use it to safety a little bit more and come down, because we're going to need our upfront guys. Who was he? Who did he just punch like that? Who was that? Yo, somebody go back in the video, please, and let me know who that was. I got to get rid of that guy. I don't know what that guy was doing. Was 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 that Miles Garrett? Like, low-key, he just got punched right in the face. First of all, why does this guy still have ED on his team? Like, that doesn't even make any sense. Like, why is ED still a guy that people are running around with? I guess, you know, he starts off with freight train and all that crap, but he's not a good enough card to get away with that. Um, I, I don't know. It is what it is. But I'm tight. Like, dudes is getting punched right in the face immediately. Um, right. Oh, he just spun right off that. Okay, Miles Garrett, good move right there, bro. He just spun right off that thing right there. Yo, GG's. All right, cool. So um, pretty much what started to go on with this game, I know you're looking at the title like it's first quarter. The first quarter is ending. You only got seven points. How could you have managed to beat the guy 57 to zero? Well, what's going to happen is a lot of different things, right? He's going to be trying to, you know, with because of his pride, he's going to be trying to score, um, you know, whatever, whatever it takes. And I'm going to be just trying to maul him. Because I really want to see, like, if Anthony Barr is that dude, it's not really much they can do after that. You see what I'm saying? Because, like, they got position heroes. They got, um, I don't know if they're going to, I don't think they're going to be giving us any more major promos. It's like a month, probably a month left to Madden uh, 20 to where we can just go ahead and experiment. And then eventually Weekend League is going to be taken down. So, you know, we're going to be looking forward to Madden 21 and that's going to be pretty much it. So with the way that it is, I don't know if there would be somebody that would replace Barr, uh, because based on all this, remember he has like a 99 hit power, he has, you know, um, 99 block shedding, and he's 6'5 with a lot of weight. They can make other players that don't have the same type of weight and strength and different things like that, that you could probably get away with. Maybe they give us somebody that's a 99 speed off the edge. If they go 99, that might be the only reason that you would really replace Barr. Because remember guys, 
even though they took away strength as a factor, when we first thought that, you know, earlier in the year, like August, when I told you guys, like, yo, Linval Joseph is the move. Once we, once EA Sports realized that strength was too OP, they started to nerf a lot of things, and Linval Joseph became a trash can. Immediately, the dude just, you know, he was, he was like, he was irrelevant for a very, very long time. So, the thing, of, the thing that's been consistent that I've seen is the weight factor, which is why Warren Sapp, when he plays, he's so dominating in the middle. Now, I know we have Miles Garrett there, and uh, we're going to be still putting in work, but that's because of the speed aspect. That's going to make it very, very difficult for other players to run around with their QB. Because his first move, the way that Miles Garrett moves, he's not looking to throw the guy over. And I want you guys to also understand, this guy has the ability on his center. So he bought an ebook that wasn't in English, and that's the only language he speaks, and he paid $75 million for an ebook. That's his problem, right? We don't really care about that because the way that our defense is set up, we're screaming no matter what. So nothing really matters. You see what I'm saying? In some cases, you'll have a guy that's, you know, decent at the game, that probably uses a faster QB, has an ability on the center, and then, you know, runs around in the backfield and just does whatever he wants, and it lasts. This is where I knew that, you know, pretty much the game was over. He started pausing the game. I'm like, all right, once these guys start pausing the game to figure out what's going on, yeah, bro, like, they, they're contemplating it, but you got to push them over the edge. But like I said, getting back to the fact that he has abilities on the center, that's something that, you know, a lot of people have been promoting. To be honest with you, sometimes it's annoying because you really can't get pressure no matter what you do. So I'm going to be honest about that. But once I see it, I know how to get instant pressure, as you guys can see, because I've played against it. It was at, the first time I saw it, it was actually a guy using Tom Brady with Protected. And um, I, I, was, I was sending everybody and I could get absolutely no pressure. I'm like, yo, what is going on? And then a couple people in the chat was like, yo, bro, he got abilities on the center. This might have been like a month ago. So once I realized that people went back to that, I made it my business to try to figure out what can I do to my defensive line to make these guys still get around it. And it's really, really interesting because every play may vary. You know, like certain, he, he did, wow. If they were to give him that first down, I would probably broke something. Um, but it's gonna vary. So the one tip I'm gonna give you guys is this, right? When someone has abilities on their center, you're not gonna be able to just crash down, crash right, crash left, crash up every single play consistently and still get pressure. You're going to have to change the blitz angles. That's pretty much what counteracts all the foolishness that they're doing. Because pretty much that guy being able to take on at least two to three guys, that gives them the time to run around and be idiots. What you're trying to do though is get instant pressure so that it doesn't really matter about that situation. Like, I don't care about the ability. I need to figure out like, yo, what am I doing? So. Sometimes when you crash down, you're not going to be able to get in because that ability will activate and he will trigger for not only your D tackle, but for the D ends as well. Okay. When you crash to the right, now he has to turn his body to the right. The left side may open up in certain cases, but then you, if you're playing somebody that knows what's going on, they'll start IDing your players. All right. So there's a lot of things that go into it, but I'm just letting you guys know because, you know, I've been getting a lot of complaints about the fact that. Once dudes put an ability on their center, you can't get pressure. But that's not true. You just have to actually work a little bit harder with it and, you know, pay attention. Like, I went through a video that I edited for you guys uh, a little bit. Uh, uh, I don't know wh where when it was. It was recent, I believe, where I went through the whole video. And as I'm doing the audio, I realized why I couldn't sack the guy. I'm like, yo, this guy had that guy on. So, oh, this guy's just way too scared, bro. This guy is way too scared, man. Like, okay, yeah, he spin right off of him. Great. Um, so sometimes I give you guys that it's, you, you just don't notice it because you're like, all right, whatever, I'm just playing whatever, but I need you guys to pay attention to that. It is very, very important that you guys pay attention to that because that changes everything. And since I've been looking to see which guys I play have that, I've been able to adjust the way that I attack the game because I've been seeing a lot more and more of those guys, uh, that are, you know, having a billion in their center and they think they can sit in the pocket for 55 years. And trust me, I'm going to send, yo, everybody's coming in there. And we're going to get that pressure. It's just going to come off a little bit differently. All right. So now, as we start to boost our score up, it's 28 points. All right, cool. This guy is not playing any defense. All right. So wherever he got his ebook, it was probably only for him to have, the, you know, the knowledge of putting an ability on his center. Everything else, they didn't teach him anything else. So we're going to have to deal with him accordingly. 
And still at the same time, remember guys, with Weekend League, you're not, why did I just juke like that? I don't even know why I just juke. There was literally no reason for me to juke right there. That was wild. Like I just be doing some weird stuff. Like it's actually interesting to see it because as I watch it, I'm like, yo, why did I just do that right there? Cause I could have actually just, you know, kept going straight. I don't know why, why did he pause the game there? That seemed pretty weird. I, I don't know what he was doing. He, he just started to, you know, pause the game at random times. And I, I have no idea because realistically I could have went for six. Well, actually, I should have went for six right there, but I don't, I don't really know what happened. But right there, he plays good run defense. He comes right in. All right, good job, Saquon. Good job by you, man. Why is he, who is that, Bruce Smith? Wow, he just threw everybody down. Low key, I might have to upgrade my O-line, guys. I might have to just upgrade those idiots because they, they, you know what you know what it is, bro? Like these dudes, if you don't have a gold 99, low key, these dudes is getting dominated. Like that's what I'm seeing right now. I don't know what you guys are seeing, but like, I right, go for six then. All right, or get tackled, whichever one works for you, man. Good job, bro. All right, go ahead. It looked like he ran commit right there. I wasn't really paying attention to what he was doing because like I knew the game was over. It was just about like, how much do I want to score on this guy? You know, it's, it's not like it's something to where it's like, all right, you know, do I want to just blow him out uncontrollably and not care about him, pick his moms up, drop her off, off the block? Like, what am I trying to do? Pretty much what I was trying to do after I got to 35, the key thing that you guys always request is what? A 50 burger. Whenever I get 35 points, and this happens a lot in stream as well, everybody requests a 50 burger. So I'm thinking to myself, all right, if I give you guys a 50 burger, that's cool. But then people in the stream always get greedy. Like, yo, you got more than 50, go for a 60 burger. So that's why I was like, you're gonna see what's gonna happen uh, later in the game um, where he makes it so I, I can't get the 60 burger. Because the 57 is cool, but a lot of you guys gonna be hating in the chat. I know you guys are laughing like, yeah, bro, you could have got the 60 though, even before you finish watching the video. Cause you guys are gluttons for action, bro. Like you just wanna see dudes get dominated. And that's why I love you guys. Cause you don't like, there's no mercy. Bro, it's sort of like you watching, you know, the original Karate Kid with Daniel San, bro. And it's the other, it's the other place, bro. Hold on, what, what is it? It's the other dojo. Like, bro, no mercy. Dude's just gonna sweep the leg. Bro, Daniel San's leg is almost hanging off, bro. They're about to sweep the leg though. That's the way you guys like it. And I have no problem with that. For some of my younger viewers, no, Jalen, Jaden Smith or Jalen, whatever, Jaden Smith, he is not the real Karate Kid. You youngsters need to go back and look up Ralph Macchio, and I don't really care for any of his acting skills, but the Karate Kid is is glitchy in the streets, like the original. You know, Mr. Miyagi is goaded, may he rest in peace. I, you, you guys gotta know about originality. That I, I, Look, I watched like two minutes of that new Karate Kid with Jaden, uh, whatever his name is. That, it was one of the most horrific experiences of my life. Yeah, go ahead, throw me the pick. All right, whatever, it doesn't matter. It, it's cool, man, it's cool, go ahead. Throw it right there too, yep. I got double coverage on him, it doesn't matter. Throw it anywhere. Yeah, run around, do that. Like this dude, man, just quit the game, dude. Like if, if that's gonna be your offense, like you already know that you have no choice, but you're gonna get this, oh. All right, yeah, that was, that was too easy. That was too easy right there. All right, so look, pretty much right there, you're gonna see we have 57. So now I'm saying to myself, 60 burger, 60 burger. If I don't get the 60 burger, dudes are gonna be like, all right, Jimai, you, you know, pretty much like, what you doing out here, dog? Like, you really set tripping. And I don't want my Cali dudes to think that I ever set trip. Cause once you set trip, they ain't no coming back. Like, I'm not a mark, bro. Like, I'm not going trip. I know I gotta get 60 and it gotta be 60 zip. What the? Bro, this dude is scared, man. This dude is scared. Like, look, look at this guy. I don't even know what he's doing. I, yo, I have no idea what this guy is doing, but I gotta give him a lot of credit. He didn't quit the game. You know, he paused it a few times. Right there, I dropped on the ground because if I would've got 63 then or 64, you guys would've wanted a 70 burger. And I was like, you know what? Let me just get you guys a 60 burger. It'll be, you know, even and that'll be it. He knew what I was trying to do. So he runs off sides. And obviously when you accept the penalty, the clock still rolls. I wasn't looking at the clock. So it's like, all right, it is what it is. And you know, he's gonna pretty much get away with just a 57 to zero. So it is what it is, guys. I know you guys are like, yo, bro, yo, what, what's up with you, dog? You didn't get the, you know, you didn't get the 60 burger. I did the best I could, guys. Let me know what you're thinking about that Anthony Barr. Uh, and also, who did you choose for your free golden ticket? I'll get back to you guys with mine. I'm gonna see you guys and girls next time. One love, y'all.